Hi kids, welcome back to Abhidhabi Assemblies of God Children's Church. I am so excited to connect with you and share God's word in this manner. Kids, this is a wonderful time of the year and it's time to share the good news all around. So what's this good news all about? Nowadays, people get news from many different platforms. Some rely on newspapers, some get news from internet and others get news from listening to the radio. Probably, the main way of people getting news today is by watching television. Some news may be good, some may be bad, some may be neutral. But do we really pay attention to all the news that we hear? No, right? In the same way, around 2600 years ago, a news was announced. Not just a news, but a good news. God spoke through prophet Isaiah to tell the world about the birth of Messiah. He said, For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, and Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. When this news was announced, many people did not really care or pay attention to it. And this good news has been announced continuously till date. Many have heard the good news but have not paid any attention or reacted or responded to it. On the other hand, in Luke chapter 2 we read, When the angels announced the good news of the birth of Jesus Christ to the group of shepherds, they, without any hesitation or doubt, immediately reacted to it. So kids, this festive season, let's pray that people will hear the good news and will respond and react to it. Yes, it's the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So let's close our eyes and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this very special time of the year when we celebrate your birth. Thank you, Lord, for your love, mercy and kindness. Lord, today we pray for the people all around the world who've just heard the good news but have still not listened to it. Lord, we pray that this good news will reach to them and enlighten their hearts. We pray for the, all the kids who are watching this program. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, kids, are you all excited to praise and worship our God? Come on, join with Mercy and Sharon and get excited and do some actions. Hi, kids. We're so excited to meet you all today. Kids, haven't you heard the good news yet? It is the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Jesus' love is so amazing and it's one of a kind and we're always on his mind. So join with us and sing these songs. <laughs>
back to worship the Lord. In John 4 24, it says, God is spirit and his worshippers must worship him in spirit and in truth. So let's be in an attitude of prayer and worship him. We have come to the most exciting moment of the session. Let's listen to God's word. Let's, let's wait and see what Meena auntie has in store for us. Be very attentive and listen to her very carefully. At the end of the program, you will have quiz time. Hi kids, praise the Lord. It's story time. Are you excited to hear a story? Auntie is going to read a letter for you. See. This letter is from an important person. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Can you guess who is that important person? Yes, it's God the Father. See, this is a compilation of Bible verses that will help you understand God's love. I will read it for you. A love letter from God to you. My child, you may not know me. But I know everything about you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. For you were made in my image. I choose you when I planned creation. For all your days are written in my book. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. For you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could, for I am the perfect father. My plan for your future has always been filled with hope. Because I love you with an everlasting love, my thoughts toward you are countless as a sand on the seashore, for you are my treasured possession. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. I am your father and I love you. Even as I love my son Jesus, for in Jesus my love for you is revealed. His death was the ultimate expression of my love for you. If you receive the gift of my son Jesus, you receive me. And nothing will ever separate you from my love again. Come home and I will throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen. I have always been father will always be father. My question is, will you be my child? I am waiting for you. Love, your dad, almighty God. Kids, this letter helps us to understand how much our heavenly father loves us. We want to hear God speak, read your Bible. 
Bible is God's love letter for you. Pray as you read and ask God to help you understand what He wants to say through that passage. Kids, God loves us so much that He gave His only Son to die for our sin. But He wants us to do only one thing. He wants us to surrender our life to Him. Shall we do that kids? We pray and surrender our life to God. I want everyone to join me in this prayer. Dear Lord God Almighty, You are the loving Father we need. Thank you Lord for loving us more than our earthly Father. Thank you Lord for giving precious Jesus to die for our sin. Lord, we surrender our life completely in your hands. But take control of our life. We love you and honor you. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalms 8-2 says, Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength. Now, it's time for us to watch our beginner one kids reciting the memory verses. Since you are precious in my sight, you have been honored and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 4 Isaiah 49 16 See? See? I just said to you, on the palm of my hands, your word are conditioned before me. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you, no more forsake you. Don't, do not be afraid. Do not be scrious. Truth and me. 31 Thank you. Thank you. Isaiah 41, 13. For the Lord, your God, who takes all, who takes all the right time and say to you, do not fear, I have you. No weapon from I you can prepare. And there, put him up to thee. Remember this, O Jacob, and say, for you are my servant, I have formed you. You are my servant, O said, I have will not be forgotten by me. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 21 As to a water, I will be with you and to whatever shall not overcome you. When you walk to a fire, you shall not burn. And a fire shall not come to you. Isaiah 43 2 I am John Winter and the Lord says, I shall I love you with an everlasting love. Aisha, therefore, we love each other. Aisha, love you. Jeremiah, that's my tree. The sun, one night. I will not come you. Be strong, courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be sorry. For the love you are. To be with you, there we go. That was awesome kids. You give a big applause for our beginner one kids. May God bless all your efforts. Kids, we know that postman carries letter from one place to another. Do you know a bird was used to carry letter from one place to another in olden days? It is called homing pigeon or carrier pigeon. Pigeon is an incredibly complex and intellectual bird. They have an outstanding navigational abilities. They were used in World War I and II to communicate over distance. They had 90% delivery rate which proved to be literally life saving for the soldiers on the front line. It took about 6 to 8 weeks to train a pigeon to carry messages. In olden days, pigeons and doves were the only birds used to give us a sacrifice in the temple. Kids, you know, when anyone accepts Jesus Christ as their personal saviour, they belong to a big glorious family. It is an everlasting big family. This includes God the Father, 
Jesus, the Son of God and Holy Spirit and thousands and millions of angels are there. The best thing about angels is when anyone accepts Jesus Christ as a personal savior, these angels sing and rejoice. In other words, they have a big party in heaven. Now we are going to see how God used these angels to send messages. Psalm 91 verse 11 For he will come on his angels concerning you to guard you in all your Psalm 91 verse 11 For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. The most important thing about angels is that God created them. He created them little higher than human beings. The word angel actually means God's messenger. Angels are important, but not more important than God. We should not worship angels or pray to them or command them. God is the only one worthy of our worship. It is okay to thank God for angels and ask Him to send angels to help us. Angels have certain limitations. They are not all-knowing, all-powerful and everywhere present. But we know that our God is omniscient, omnipotent and omnipresent. Angels in the Bible Cherubim They guarded the entrance to the Garden of Eden. God is enthroned above them. God rides on them. Two golden figures of Cherubim sit above the Ark of Covenant where God promised to dwell among His people. They are mentioned in several places in the Bible. Seraphim. They do stand in front of God to praise Him. They appear in Isaiah 6 where they continually worship the Lord and say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of His glory. They are tall angels, each with six wings. Two wings are used for covering their faces, two for covering their feet and two for flight. Gabriel. He is the messenger of God who is always sent to speak to humans. He is mentioned in Daniel as a messenger who comes from God to speak to Daniel. He is also identified as God's messenger in Luke 1. He tells Zechariah, I am Gabriel, who stand in the presence of God. Then we read, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin and the virgin's name was Mary. Michael The book Daniel calls Michael an archangel that means chief prince who stands God over Israel. He is meant for fighting. Satan Satan was an angel. When he began to think he was better than God, God sent him out. Some of the angels followed Satan because God has given them will to choose. Keep in mind kids, God and his angels are much more powerful than Satan and his followers. Angels also protect us when we are in trouble. Remember Daniel in the lion's den. An angel came and shut the mouths of the lions. What about Shatrach, Meshach and Abednego? An angel was standing with them in the fiery furnace to keep them safe. Now we will see how God sent his angels to give good news to shepherds. Joseph and Mary lived in a town called Nazareth. The Romans were in charge of the country. One day, the ruler of the country called Caesar Augustus sent a letter to Nazareth saying that all the people had go to the city where their families came from. Every person in the family had to be counted. This was called a census. He wanted to know exactly how many people there were because he wanted everyone to pay taxes. Joseph and his family had come from a little town called Bethlehem. Bethlehem was a long way from Nazareth. Of course, there were no planes or cars back then. 
பீப்புள் ஹேட் டு வாக் ஆர் ரைட் அனிமல்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஜோசப் அண்ட் மேரி வாண்டட் டு டூ வாட் த கிங் கமாண்டட் தே பேக்ட் அப் தேர் திங்ஸ் மேரி ரோட் அ டோங்கி வால் ஜோசப் வாக் பிசைட் ஹர் தே பிகேன் த ட்ரிப் டு பத்லஹேம் வென் தே அரைவ் தே ஃபவுண்ட் த ரோட்ஸ் வெரி க்ரௌடட் வித் பீப்புள் தே லுக் அண்ட் லுக் ஃபார் அ பிளேஸ் டு ஸ்டே பட் ஆல் த இன்ஸ் வேர் ஃபுல் இட் வாஸ் வெ க்ரோயிங் வெரி லேட் மேரி வாஸ் டயர்ட் It was almost time for her baby to be born. Joseph was also tired and needed a place to rest. God had not forgotten Mary and Joseph. Joseph saw a place, kind of like a shed, where the animals were kept. He led Mary where it was warm and safe. They were glad to find a quiet place to rest from their long journey. During the night, a wonderful thing happened. Mary had her baby. Mary was so happy it was a son just as God had promised he was a son of God Joseph and Mary gave him the name of Jesus Joseph looked for a place to put the newborn baby he found a box full of straw this was the kind of box that farmers put hay in so the animals could eat from it Mary wrapped the baby up tightly and placed him in the warm straw Outside the city some shepherds were watching over their flocks of sheep in the quiet night suddenly a great light filled all of the sky they had never seen anything like it before in the middle of the light they saw an angel the angel spoke to them he said do not be afraid i bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people today in the town of david a savior has been born to you He is Christ the Lord this will be a sign to you you will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger all of a sudden there was not just one angel but also many other angels and they were praising God saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests When the angels went away the shepherds left their sheep and hurried into the town of Bethlehem the angel had said that the baby would be in the town of David everyone knew that the another name for the town of David was Bethlehem the shepherds found Joseph and Mary and the baby just as the angels had said they told Mary and Joseph all about the wonderful sight of angels in the middle of the great light and wonderful words they said The shepherds were glad they found the special baby whose birth made even the angels happy. God showed us love by giving his son to the world. God still needs messenger to spread the good news of Jesus. This year as we celebrate our savior's birth, won't you be God's messenger to share the good news with others? Try to do. Kids, you may think you cannot do things to help others you may think you are not old enough or big enough to do something i'll show a kindness activity this wonderful kindness activity used as an experiment to illustrate that the simple act of dropping an object causes a ripple effect for this experiment i took a container with water and two objects one is small and another one is big each of the object will cause a ripple in the water when it is dropped Have you noticed the ripple in the water? Bigger one will cause a big splash, but both object make ripple when it is dropped. Just as our acts of kindness can be large or small, they too will have an effect or ripple in the life of another person. The impact of that acts of kindness can make someone's day better or change how they treat others. Simple act of kindness like saying thank you or helping a friend with homework problem can have a ripple effect. Kids, here are some acts of kindness that you can try. You can hold the door open for others, tell someone they are awesome, help someone in need, donate a few of your unused toys, write a letter to a loved one, pick up trash without being asked. Draw a picture for someone, make someone smile, say sorry if you do something wrong. Try to do this kids. Kids, it's activity time. Now, we are going to make a 
paper angel. Things needed are you can use white paper or color paper, scale, pair of scissors, black sketch, a string, and a bead. To start with, draw a big circle. Inside that, draw a small circle but leave a little space and the opposite side of the space you should draw a line touching the inner circle and outer circle. This we call it as A. On the next side, you should draw line B. It should not touch the inner circle. Leave some space. This is line B and opposite side of line B, draw C, it should be from the inner circle but it should not touch the outer circle. So this is the template of this angel. So what you are going to do is cut this on the line. So I have cut. The circle you can see A, B, C. Now I'm going to cut on the line B and here A. We cut A. From that I'm going to cut the inner circle till that space. From here I'm going to cut the line C. So we have cut all the lines now. The line C, you have to take line C and insert it into the line B. So now we got two wings. You can use a string. So take a string, tie a knot at one end, and you can insert a bead from the upward. And now insert inside the angel and your angel for the Christmas tree is ready. Your paper angel is ready. Kids, are you all ready with your pen and pencils? Okay, let's get started. But before moving on, let's watch the winners of last week. Okay kids, now we all are ready for the quiz. Okay, quickly note down the questions. Question number one, which town was called as the town of David? Question number one, which town is called the town of David? Question number two, glory to God in the dash and on earth dash. I'll repeat, glory to God in the dash and on earth dash. There are two fill-ups here. Okay, you need to write the answers. Question number three, name the angel who guarded the Garden of Eden? Question number three, name the angel who guarded the Garden of Eden. Question number four, who ordered for census which brought Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem? Who ordered for the census which brought Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem? Question number five, write the reference of today's memory verse. Question number five, write the reference of today's memory verse. Kids, quickly send in your answers to this WhatsApp number which you see on the screen along with your name, your age and your photograph. And you have time until 2 p.m. today. So quickly send in your answers. And for children who are watching this program from outside UAE, you have time until Sunday. Okay, kids. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>